guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a What's in My Bag Backpacking Europe edition. And just so you guys know, I am going for a little over two months. And I am going in the months of March, April, end of February. So it is going to be a little bit colder here. This, most importantly, let's start off. This is the bag I'm bringing. This is the R Spray 4.55 liter bag. I did get it off Amazon, guys. I am gonna put links to everything down below. They are my affiliate links, so if you guys wanna support me, I'll put this bag and a bunch of the other stuff that I use in here down below, so if you wanna use that, get anything that I'm using. And no one told me to get these things. These are genuinely things that I bought because I thought that I would like or need to use. So starting off with the bag, this is the bag. So they do have a fair point, which I think is the girls edition. I didn't end up going with that because I am going for two months. And so that is a long, long time. And I think the difference was 10 liters between the two. Keep in mind, if you are gonna get this bag, it's technically like an inch and a half or two inches larger than the carry-on allowable size. So when I was looking up, I saw tons of reviews that said that nobody stopped them, no one questioned them, but I did see a few that said that they had to check in their bags down below. So if you're worried about that, I would go with the smaller bag, but because I'm only taking two flights, flight there, flight back, I wasn't too worried about the size being bigger, especially since most people were saying it did not affect them. But this is what the bag looks like, and let's go through everything inside of it. Okay, so I now have now taken everything out of the bag just because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. It does have this one main large compartment, and then it does have a zipper on the other side. And then in here is a detachable day bag. So this black little bag right here, you can see it stops like this, is a detachable day bag. And inside here, it does have a laptop compartment, which is very important for me because I am gonna be bringing my laptop, doing some work when I am over there. So I needed something that was gonna have my backpack secured. I also went with this one because of the detachable day bag. So I didn't wanna bring this entire thing around when I was walking around the city or anything like that. So I wanted specifically something that I could detach bring my computer, bring a few things, and just walk around without having to worry about this big thing. So that is why I got this bag. Um, and it is a big bag, as you can see. Like, it does look pretty big on me. I'll put a clip in right here of me with it on so you guys can see what it looks like. But it doesn't feel that heavy, even with everything in it, guys. Like, I genuinely don't think it's the, that big of a deal for it to be a little bigger, even though it's supposed to be, like, the men's size or whatever. So that is the bag now let's go through everything inside of it so i am going to break it down into clothing toiletries and others okay so i'm going to break it down into those three categories and let's start off with the clothes all right so for my clothes i bought something off amazon again it's going to be linked down below packing cubes guys i honestly think if you're going to buy anything buy packing cubes i have it in large the medium small and then I also have my toiletries in the rectangular one which I'm going to be going through shortly but I genuinely do not understand how people backpack without packing cubes how do you do it because everything is just going to be stacked on top of each other in your bag it's going to be all over the place I don't know how you do it so if you buy any single thing out of everything I'm going to show you guys today buy packing cubes and it doesn't have to be these if you guys don't like these but just buy some sort of packing cube so all right, so let's start with the biggest one. This is my biggest packing cube, and in here I have my sweaters and my pants of all types. So I separated it into pants, shirts, uh, and underwear and socks. So this is my sweater with pants. So keep in mind, I am going in during the winter, but also don't forget that you're always gonna be wearing a set of clothes, so you're always gonna be wearing a jacket, a pair of pants, and a shirt, and so I only needed to bring one extra jacket. I brought one in white and one in black, and so my black one is in here, and it's a good thing that you are gonna be wearing them because I wouldn't be able to fit two things in here that are sweaters. So I did bring one sweater only, other than the one that I'm wearing, so two sweaters total, and by sweaters I mean big jackets, I don't know why I keep saying sweaters, but two big, they're like puffer style jackets. Then as far as pants, I brought two pairs of jeans, so I have one light and one dark, just in case I wanted to switch it up, and then I brought a pair of small spandex shorts, that way I can sleep in something, and I'm going to be wearing those all the time to sleep in. I can also throw them under my pants or something if it does get really cold, which I don't think it's going to get that cold, but so two jeans, uh, one pair of sleeping shorts, I brought one pair of like fancier pants, 
And then I think that is, oh, and then I brought two leggings, two athletic leggings, because I am going to be doing a lot of hiking and everything like that. So I did bring those things total, and I'll put a list down here as I go through the clothes so you guys can just screenshot at the very end of all the clothes that I am bringing. But that is it as far as pants and jackets go. Now shirts, and I know this looks unorganized, I am going to make it more organized, but keep in mind when you're traveling, it's not always gonna look perfect, so I just wanted to make sure that everything fit if I was in a rush and kind of just threw everything in here. And as far as shirts, so I think that shirts can go a long way to make your outfits more interesting. I am going to be there for two months, and so I didn't want to look the exact same every single day, because who wants to do that, especially if you're a girl? So <laughs> I did bring a lot of shirts. As you can see, this thing is packed full of shirts. But I will say, everything is long sleeves here, and I did bring a few cropped long sleeve stuff, because I figured if I'm going to be wearing long pants only, and I'm going to be wearing jackets and everything like that, I wasn't too worried about not having super super warm shirts so I did bring two athletic style shirts so something you can sweat in that's gonna be fine long sleeves full length then I brought nine regular shirts which you might be like how do you fit nine things in here first of all they're quite small some of them so they are like cute going out shirts or like something that is doesn't have a lot of fabric on it so that is why I had so many shirts and then I did bring one large t-shirt so that I can sleep in and that's just what I'm going to be sleeping in and it can also double as another shirt if you wanted another shirt um, so that is it as far as shirts and I did like I said bring some cute ones some athletic ones just because I wanted to be able to switch it up I am going to be there for two months that's a long time to wear this same outfit it over and over and over again so that is what I brought as far as shirts last little cube as far as clothing goes is my underwear and socks so as far as socks I did bring like four wool pairs so they're the long wool pairs so that way I have some for the cold and then I brought four regular uh, socks just something that you would wear with anything uh, back at home if it wasn't cold so I brought a total of eight socks and then all my underwear in here I didn't actually count guys but I stuffed as much underwear as I could in here because I didn't want to be missing underwear okay if I'm gonna be missing anything it is not gonna be underwear so I stuffed it. I don't know if you can see, but they're, they are stuffed in here. Um, and I'm honestly probably going to shove one or two more in here if I can. But I think, honestly, if I counted it, it would probably be like 14 or something of them. Because I'm not going to be missing underwear, guys. So that is it as far as clothing. That is pants, shirt, underwear, and socks. I did also bring two beanies, one black, one gray, a bathing suit. Because you just never know if you're going to be needing a bathing suit ever. And... I think that is it as far as clothes. If I do think of anything else that I forgot, I'll put it up on the screen here for you guys so you can also see that when you screenshot it. He's eating my pillow, of course. Give me one second. Okay, last but not least in my last packing cube are my toiletries. So this is one of the most important things because you're gonna need toiletries everywhere that you go. You're gonna need everything in one little packet. And so I don't know if you can see through there, but I did put everything in separate little Ziplocs because <sighs> This is going in the same bag as my computer, like the same compartment, and if this happened to break or anything, I, I would be devastated. I wouldn't know what to do. So I did put everything in their own separate Ziploc bag inside of my packing cube. So that way, everything can remain clean in case something does spill. So I'll go through everything that I brought here. So in my first bag here, I have a conditioner and a shampoo. I also have a toothpaste and an extra bottle that I haven't filled yet, but I think I'm going to put some sort of detangler in here. So I am bringing shampoo, and obviously, guys, these aren't going to last me the whole time, but you can refill them. They're not the actual shampoo bottle, so I'm just going to refill them as I go. So that is what I brought for shampoo. And then I did bring makeup. This is my makeup bag. As you can see, there's not too much in it. I did bring, let's see, a bronzer, one lipstick, uh, a brush so that I can put my bronzer on, eyeliner, mascara, and a tiny little eyeshadow palette. This is the one that I'm bringing. And that is it as far as makeup goes. Oh, I also have to throw my foundation in here. I have it in my bathroom, so it's not in here. But uh, that is it as far as makeup goes, guys, because I do want to look cute, but I don't want to bring a huge thing of makeup. It's just going to add weight, and I might not be wearing it. I probably won't be wearing it every day. So that is it as far as makeup. You can just bring a little more if you want. I mean, you can see this bag is not full, so I do have space for extra if I wanted. I just don't personally wear that much makeup. So next, 
If you're going to be wearing makeup, this is essential. Makeup remover pads. These were each just like a dollar at Walgreens. And so I just bought two because I figured two is most definitely going to last me. I probably could honestly make it with one. But just to be safe, I wanted to bring two and they don't take up any space. So... I was like, I'm throwing those in there. Next, I have this little baggie, which is a moisturizing cream, a face wash, and a sunscreen. It's important to take care of your face, even if you're backpacking. These things are tiny, guys. They're not gonna take up that much space. So if you do have something you really want to bring, don't not bring it because you're backpacking. Like, these fit just fine in my toiletry bag, and honestly, my toiletry bag has some space left over. Let's see here. I also brought a little bag of jewelry because like I said, I do want to dress up every now and again. It is just like five pairs of jewelry and they're not expensive. They're all quite, quite cheap jewelry. So if I happen to lose this bag, $15 is out the window, whatever. And that's fine with me. But I did want to bring something just so that I could have it if I wanted to dress up my outfits a little bit, change it up. Most importantly, I bought a brand new toothbrush. So I just bought a regular toothbrush. It's just a normal toothbrush. And this I did get off Amazon. It is one of the things linked down below, but it's just a toothbrush cover because you are gonna be throwing your toothbrush in your bag all the time. It's gonna be with your clothes, with your other things. So I just wanted it to have a little layer of protection from the outside world, uh, just so that it didn't get dirty. So, and it was so cheap on Amazon. Like I said, I have it down below so you guys can look down below, but I'm pretty sure it was like five bucks or eight bucks or something really cheap. Like, so last few things that I got from my toiletries here, it's just a mini deodorant. Everyone needs to bring a mini deodorant. I personally, for some reason, think guys deodorant works better than girls. I don't know if that's just my head, but that's what I got. This I also got from Amazon. It'll be below, but it's a five in one spoon, fork, a knife, a can opener, bottle opener. Yes, so I think that's all the five things, but this is what it looks like. It's just a metal spoon. I am going to, spoon, I guess fork, knife, spoon, I don't really know, but I am going to be hiking a lot, and then I'm also going to be cooking a lot, and I just figured it'd be nice to have my own just in case I wanted to bring a soup with me somewhere. I didn't have to worry about getting one. It also comes with one of these, so you can attach it to the outside of your backpack if you want. The inside, whatever is easier for you. And last but not least, I do wear contacts. I know, sucks. But I did bring a pair of glasses, a contact liquid, which I have in here, some gum just for the airplane because I don't know, I really like chewing gum on airplanes. Um, and then a little chapstick that also has SPF in it. That way I can have that if I want to. And then I haven't put my extra contacts in here, but guys, if you wear contacts, bring extra ones because no one wants to be two months abroad with no contacts, okay? Trust me, you don't. So I have like three pairs of extra contacts that I'm also gonna be putting in here. And that is it for as far as toiletries. I'll put everything up here so you guys can screenshot. Perfect, you got it? All right, cool. Done, done with toiletries. All right, so now we're going into the miscellaneous things that I did get from Amazon. And this is from me researching and researching and researching and researching <laughs> until I wanna die uh, about things that people brought that they found very useful. So I don't know if you guys saw, but on my backpack when I had it in the, in the thumbnail or when I was showing you guys here, I have this attached to the outside of it. So this is just a uh, collapsible water bottle. I did get it from Amazon. It is linked down below. Uh, but basically I really liked it because it doesn't take up a lot of space. You can hang it places. And also uh, this comes off and it'll inflate. And I forgot how many ounces it is, but it's linked so you guys can take a look at it. Uh, but I really liked it because I don't know if you guys know this, but in a lot of places in Europe, water is not free. That might come to a shock for a lot of us Americans, but I've been going to Spain my whole life because my family's from there. And so I don't want to be stuck without water, especially if I'm hiking or just walking around in restaurants, whatever. So I brought a collapsible water bottle. That way I can fill it up, bring it with me, even on the plane. Um, they don't let you bring water through, but they do let you bring empty water bottles through so you can just go through, fill it, have water on the eight hour plane ride. So I think this is a must. You personally, I wouldn't go if I didn't have one. I think it's such a smart idea to have it collapsible. I didn't even know that was a thing, guys. When I was looking up, I was like, collapsible water bottles? He's a genius, whoever thought of that. Anyways, maybe you guys knew this. I did not love this thing. I did also forget to mention I brought a little brush. So I just brought a mini one because I didn't want it to bring up a lot of space. It's just a wet brush. I can't brush my hair with anything that's not a wet brush. I have very thin hair. And so this thing just like glides through my hair like effortlessly. I don't understand 
but wet brush you did a good thing <laughs> this is not sponsored by wet brush by the way I just really like them anyways back to my Amazon products I did get this which is just basically like a sleeping bag I am gonna be staying in hostels the whole time and so Sometimes, not always, but hostels can be a little rough depending on where you're staying and I just wanted to bring my own little sheets just in case I wanted to use them. It doesn't take up that much space honestly and it'll be so worth it if I do want to use it or if I didn't have one and wanted one. I'm just glad that I have one just in case. This is down below. All last thing I got from Amazon is just this microfiber towel. It's really tiny. Look at, at, at this. And I just didn't know if hostels or if I'm going to be swimming or anything if I'm going to need a towel. and I just thought I'm obviously gonna be showering all the time and if they don't have towels how do you dry off I don't know I don't really know how that works because I've never stayed at a hostel before but I decided to just buy one anyways I think this is the size large like I said I will put it down below but I just wanted one that's enough to dry me if I needed to get dry um, but nothing that's too big that's gonna bring up a lot of space and this is microfiber so it does dry very 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 quickly and it comes in this little pack you can just stuff it in here throw it in your bag and then forget that you have it unless that you need it so I'm very grateful for this as well. the last section which is my electronics so like I did mention I am bringing my computer and my computer charger I'm also bringing a pair of headphones because I am gonna be editing and my headphone charger and then last thing is my little camera bag so obviously this camera that I'm filming you guys on with this is a Sony 6400 yes so that's what that is and that goes in here so I am gonna be bringing this bag which is gonna have all my cables and my camera and then any SD cards anything like that so this is what it looks like on the inside my camera just goes in this hole right here it's a little unorganized right now don't judge me but this is my camera charger and thing to plug into my computer I'm also bringing my GoPro and I have my GoPro charger in here as well this I also got from Amazon this is very important if not the most important thing in my bag this is just a converter because they don't have the same outlets that they do in the United States and Europe and so I brought bought one that has every single type of outlet adapter here so you can plug in it basically for any country uh, in Europe so I brought this it all goes in this tiny bag and no matter where you go you're gonna have an adapter which you need because if you're gonna be working charging your phone doing absolutely anything like that you're gonna need one so very very important and then as far as other camera accessories I wish I could bring a whole bunch of things like this tripod you guys are on but unfortunately you take up too much space but I did bring like a little tripod here this does expand so it's something that you can hold out like this or you can place on the ground and then I also did bring my mic for my camera so that will all be in here as far as anything else camera wise it's just chargers a bunch of cables phone charger camera charger GoPro charger and then I have an SD card reader. Let's see. I think that is it as far as camera stuff goes. But it all fits in here. And technically, you're not supposed to have another bag with your carry-on personal item bag. But I'm bringing it, guys. I'm just stuffing this thing underneath my jacket and hoping they don't notice. So I'm bringing it no matter what because I do plan on filming this trip. And if you guys are interested in travel content, finance tra content abroad, talking to the locals, I'm going to be doing all sorts of different videos up there, breaking down how much I spend every month, every country, my list of things, uh, and also just some entertaining vlogs for you guys. So if you want any of that, just subscribe down below I would really really appreciate it that way you guys can watch me go on my journey and we can learn about this together that is everything that is in my bag though thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you found it helpful because I have put hours of research into what I'm putting in my bag so everything was meticulously planned and like I said I did put all the lists up there so if you want you can just screenshot exactly where you don't have to watch the breakdown of everything if you don't want but like the video down below, subscribe, please, 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 guys. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. We're at 700 almost. So thank you guys so much. Love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video.